Hi, I'm Paul from abbastands.co.uk and in this instructional video we're going to show you how to use the ABBA front lift arm. Now the ABBA front lift arm is only to be used in conjunction with the ABBA superbike stand. So if you're not familiar with how the ABBA superbike stand operates, we suggest you watch that video first. Now once you've got your ABBA front lift arm unpacked, you should have the following items here. The two long red arms, this tubed section here, instructions and the lifting strap and you also may have ordered depending on if your bike needs it a bobbin adapter which is for bikes with normal twin sided swing arms or what we call a hub spindle which is for bikes with single sided swing arms and we'll run through how these operate in a few moments so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to slide this section, this tube section, over the base of the upper superbike stand. And the slot part that slides over is the tube without the thumb screws in. And we've also put a little sticker on the top with an arrow to show you the direction that it goes over the base. So we slide that over like that. And it's important to keep this tube sliding section up against this upright of the stand so for clearance on the bike, as you'll see in a few moments. So we fit the superbikes down in the normal way. And as I say, we want to keep this pushed up against the side of the stand so it doesn't touch on the bike when we lift the stand up. Now this being a conventional twin-sided swing arm bike, we can either locate the strap around the swing arm itself or on one of our bobbin adapters which we supply. So we're going to show you how to fit that. And this just locates inside the bobbin mount on your bike as so. And the lifting strap will then locate around this bobbin. Now in the case of single sided swing arm bikes we do what we call a hub adapter and you have to use these on a single sided swing arm bike because the strap won't go around the single sided swing arm. And these hub adapters slide into the rear hub something like that on a single sided swing arm bike and the strap locates around here. Okay now we're at this stage we need to move this sliding tube section along the base of the stand to the correct position. So to do this we could going to temporarily fit this red arm with the pin on it in to that section like that and what we want to do is locate it so that the lifting strap will be totally vertical from the pin to the bobbin adapter we've just fitted. So we obviously don't want it too far in or too far out. And we can do that by looking down the rear of the bike to locate it like that. Okay, so now we have the sliding section located in the right place. We can remove this arm and we want to fit this arm with the stopper bolt into this side of the tube section. Now we want to get the bolt as close to the tube section as we can. So if it doesn't slide through all the way, we can just rock the stand back ever so slightly to help it slide through. And one other little tip is now we know where the sliding section needs to be, we could just mark it with a marker pen so you have a reference next time of where it needs to be. Okay, and now we just fit the second arm back into the first slot and we want to make sure that go, the strap's going to go down nice and vertical. So that looks about right like that. And we tighten up the two thumb screws. Now we have the lifting strap. And we just need to feed the strap through the buckle from the back to the front. So we just press on the lever and feed the strap through like that. Now we want to use this small loop on the front of the strap to go over the peg as so. And then we loop the strap over the bobbin as so and pull the strap tight. And I can see from my viewpoint that the strap is pulling down completely vertical. Okay, and that's simply a case of put it, taking the strap like this, and we want to put all our body weight on the back of the bike, so it's mostly our body weight that is lifting the front of the bike in the air, as so, and then we pull the strap up to take the slack 
as so. And we now have both wheels off of the ground. And now we have the super bike stand and the front lift arm fitted. We should have the bike with two wheels off the ground, completely safe and secure, as you can see. So that's our other front lift arm instructional video complete. As always, if you have any questions or queries, don't hesitate to contact us by phone, email or through our website. Thanks for watching.